Okay, I know the guys already talked about this over on the Skeptocrat this week, but holy hell, if there's a more perfect encapsulation of American sexism, I can't imagine what it is. As you may have noticed, this year marks 100 years since women in America won the right to vote. And as you probably know intuitively, if you're not the president, that's when you celebrate the 100th anniversary of something. So anyway, among those getting in on the celebration is the National Archive, which has a whole display up about women's suffrage. And among the displays they have is a big picture of the 2017 Women's March. And look, as far as I know, that's still the largest political demonstration in human history. So it makes for a great picture. All they have to do is not mansplain to those ladies what their signs should have said. But they did. As Noah said, they quite literally erased the voices of women from history in celebration of women's suffrage. Seriously, they airbrushed out all of the references to Donald Trump at this anti-Donald Trump rally. They didn't add anything back in, by the way. The sign that said women against Trump was just left to say women against. As though the whole march was a celebration of being in the direction of and in contact with things. And that's just too perfectly emblematic of American sexism. It's fine for the ladies to march and assemble so long as no one has to listen to what they're saying. And as much as I'm normally a fan of the listen to what women are telling you strategy, this next story is going to have to serve as the exception. And that's because it's about a woman nobody should listen to urging people to listen to women nobody should listen to. This story comes to us from the friendly atheist and my arch nemesis, Lori Alexander. And it's about the proper response to fat shaming. So this all starts when fitness guru and fucking bitch Jillian Michaels of The Biggest Loser fame, goes on a news program and makes jokes about Lizzo getting diabetes. And that sparked a lot of backlash and a serious conversation about the dangers of body shaming women. And Lori Alexander still hasn't met a social trend towards female empowerment that she didn't hate, so she decided to chime in and let everyone know that fat shaming is God's way of telling you that you're fat. Quote, Eating too much makes us feel badly and affects our health. A lot of problems people are suffering from are due to their own negligence concerning their health and care of their bodies, end quote. And really, who better to diagnose than some condescending charlatan that's never met you? Anyway, I'm sure Lori is going to speak again soon, and that means I'm about to have brand new bullshit to refute. So I guess I'll close it off there and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 